Ciao Francesca, benvenuto. Hey Roberto, come stai? Bene, bene, te che mi dici? Eh, you know what, we're, we're looking forward to our lunch today. Our, our great pleasure. Thanks for having us. Benvenuto. Now this is an honor. Uh, 25 years in business, Roberto Grano. I remember the day where it, as, it, could, have, it, it could be as busy as busting out the scenes where you approached everybody, you brought them a little glass of wine in a day, a piece of fresh bread, you know, and you kept everybody satisfied. You, you took care of the lineup, you made them feel at home, and the restaurant still feels like at home. You're, you're very kind. Uh, one, of, one of our advantages, I suppose, is that we've lived upstairs over 25 years. So you really, is a, this is a home office? I'm very much mom, papa, or the Italians say, casa, bottega, home, shop. And we raised four kids, and so it's kept us, our perspective, raising the children, at the same time, raising the business. And we come from a tradition where hospitality, welcoming, is, uh, is secondary to nothing. Well, you know, I, I'm working on this concept, and this concept is alive and well with you. It's called family style. Yeah. And I mean, you look Child better. Uh, real and that's that sort of, you know, family style greeting. Yeah. It's called family style. And I think you're probably one of the leaders in, in the respect of family style with, with how you've laid your restaurant out. Um, basically, it is like, you know, uh, being entertained at Roberto's household. Hey, you want a bit of this, a bit of that? Yeah. Come and take a look at it. Oh, you're very kind. And I think we as Italian Canadians, have a responsibility not only within the context of our Now, this is what Grano's famous for. We would come up to the uh, glass counter and pick from, uh, from the wonderful selection here. And we're here with Samantha. And uh, we're going to pick the... Why don't you take us through it? Medio antipasti. And what is that basically? Just describe what that is. Well, you can mix it up and get five different choices. We have uh, room temperature uh, pastas, different meats, fish, whatever you like. Okay, let's go through it. We have some uh, roasted mixed potato, uh, artichoke salad. This is uh, zucchini bechamel, peas with pancetta, tomato bocconcini, Tomato cucumber, roasted potato with egg and rapini. We have beef with grilled mushroom, pesto pasta. Well, you know, as Samantha keeps talking and talking and talking, we're gonna just do a take take five, and I'm gonna pick my five. So how many do we have now? We have two. Here we have a beef with roasted vegetables. Beef with roasted vegetables, and that's what it's all about. It's it's, it's really eating family style. Like we talked about earlier with Roberto. It's you know, home cooking. Eat what you want as much as you want, pick it some veg, pick it some protein, or a nice uh, sort of visit through a little alleyway in Italy. Where were we? We have some uh, roasted beets. Roasted beets. Rapini with pine nuts and raisins. Rapini with pine nuts and raisins. Now we're going to go for the beets. How cool is that? Take us through the selections and see if we've made uh, some right. Grilled sweet potato, fennel with orange, roasted beets. Beef with roasted vegetable and real chicken with radicchio. Take it to our table, thank you.
still, because back in your mind, something that happened in your mom's kitchen, your dad's kitchen, the, the Italian kitchen, your, Italian, your parents' kitchen, that still, all of a sudden, it rekindles as soon as you um, feel that same thing. Thank you, gentlemen. Right. Was it a smell? Was it a cracking of garlic? Ciao, you're very kind. Grazie. Thank you very much. And even that, grazie. You know the, what? The, 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 One, yeah. We all have it, eh? Well, you know the... the a little sputter of the special... The, the, when, when, when we think of the rich, because we have come from a very, very rich culinary tradition, the, the strongest uh, sense of our tradition is the most simple stuff. So, for example, we recently hosted Manjo Agai at Prestige Italian Wine Producer, amongst the most expensive wines in the world. He came here, what he wanted was Tenne Pomodoro. Uh, classic. So, classic, classic, simple, the soul food, Italian soul food. So, what, what I remember most is when traditionally in homes, in Italian Italian homes, the Sunday sauce was made Saturday evening. And it's, it's similar. I remember as a teenager going out, clubbing, whatever one did, visiting friends, coming home, the sauce was there, it had been turned on, a mezzanotte, and the baguette still was still hot, the polpette were there, right. so dipping a piece of bread in the sauce. Crusty bread, that, 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 and, to, and, to, and to me, it, it's as much smells as anything. So occasionally, we live upstairs, and occasionally smells will wash up from the kitchen. And it Aromatherapy. Will, it, it will bring me back 40, 50 years. Isn't that amazing? The next one, that's, I mean, we're, 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 you know, one of many uh, childhood memories, but that one resonates with me too. Is to get that, the one little scoop yes, yes. before everybody else does. And kind of like digging through that little bit of oil too, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. Thank you. Salute. Ciao bello, ci vediamo. A presto.